within my work and particularly with the, the these velvet paintings there there's a lot of stuff going on and most of them are based on things that uh, like I witnessed I may have been involved in sort of growing up um, whether it was the victim or like I was seeing this thing going down and I couldn't do anything to stop it it's interesting there was a um, a real path into sort of making paintings about my family. When I was a student, I was doing, uh, I was a graffiti artist, um, and then I was also taking like figure drawing classes. So at one point I showed one of my professors what I was doing, and he said, well, why don't you just paint them? And so I said, okay, well, I'll try that. So I started doing these sort of cartoonish, almost like Fat Albert style characters and started putting them into scenarios that I knew or thought about or things I had experienced. It was kind of poking fun at sort of how I grew up and where I grew up. Um, but the more I started looking at it as an ongoing project, I ended up, uh, you know, spending more time closely with my family and observing and thinking in a lot of different ways. I guess. I, I wanted to get beyond that sort of like that laugh track and get to sort of who they were and be able to convincingly portray sort of like the honesty of the of the world. And at the same time, I was also taking like an ethnological art class and a sociological art class. I started observing my family and where I grew up as an outsider and being able to sort of step away and almost look at it like an anthropologist. The more I did it, the better I wanted to be at painting. Um, and also I wanted to portray my family and sort of with, with a certain dignity and not so much sort of poking fun. Working with Velvet and even my family, they're these two kind of, the material where the subject or could be looked at as lower class. And so what would happen if I could transform the velvet and make it museum worthy and paint my family with that same kind of like respect that you do see in classical Baroque paintings. So the idea of being able to try and take these things and elevate them was really important to me.